there's a tool in 3D code that lets you place text along a spline curve. It's this one right here. I've already gone ahead and placed my, my spline curve here, but let us just place it again. So I'm going to delete both those. Just hover over the point and delete. So I want to adjust the size of my my points here. They will directly correlate to my brush size. So size my brush down so it fits within this width here. Let's go ahead and click here and then click here to place the next and then we can adjust them. Left mouse button and clicking and dragging inside of this will move it and then right mouse button clicking and dragging will scale it. So let's just go back down and right about there. And then we have some other modifiers here. We can change the size on its local Y axis right here with the width modifier. The depth modifier will adjust its depth, assuming you plan on using depth. We won't be using depth with this, just color. So if that's off, it won't be applied. You can also adjust the opacity right here as well. I do want this red color, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I think that goes well with the, the caution right here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's hit enter to commit. All right, and it's been applied to the layer 2 here. I don't want to apply it to another layer. I want it on its own layer so we can adjust it if we need to, at least at this point. We may put that on a different layer with some other labels and such, but let's go ahead and dirty this up too. Uh, we can select this alpha here, this pin alpha, and if we flip our brush over, it will change to the erase tool. So we can go ahead and just erase some of this, give it, give it a worn look. That's probably good enough for that. Let's so let's see. Let's change our alpha here to this one. And we can go in and smooth out some of those colors. Or we can if we hold control, it will just add more color in to where we've already added that color. As you can see there, let's just brighten up this A here. So there you go. It will paint right in that area that we just subtracted from. Okay, we can also use, uh, uh, which one are you? I think it's this one here. Yeah, the smudging one. Let's go ahead and select that tool, scale it down. We can smudge the color around if we need to. Let's go ahead and just drag the bottom of that out a little bit. There you go, so it's a little smudged up now. Okay. Let's go ahead and erase a little more. There we go, some lines will work. There you go, so there you go, a couple of different techniques to smudge it, um, erase it, and place text.